Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 33 Parts B, D, E We must solve this equation for X. We will rely on this important property. If a base raised to the exponent M is equal to that same base raised to an exponent N, then it must be the case that the exponents are the same. That's how we will solve equations like this. In order to do this, we must write this number and this number expressed with the same base. 36 is 6 to the second power. So we have 6 to the second power raised to the x. 216 is also a power of 6. 6 to the third power. Now the left hand side, we must multiply those exponents. 2 times x is 2x, so we have 6 to the 2x equals 6 to the third. We have now arrived at the situation where we have the exact same base on each side of the equal sign. Therefore it follows that these two exponents must be the same. 2x must equal 3. Dividing both sides by 2 we get x equals 3 halves and that is the solution. In problem D we recognize that 8 and 32 are both powers of 2. 8 is 2 to the third power. So we have 2 to the third power raised to the 2x minus 1. 32 is 2 to the fifth power. So we have 2 to the fifth power raised to the x minus 3. An exponent raised to another exponent, those get multiplied. We have 2 raised to the 3 times the quantity 2x minus 1 equals Likewise, over here, an exponent raised to an exponent, those get multiplied. 2 raised to the 5 times the quantity x minus 3. We can do the algebra up in the exponents, or we can jump right to our property. We have a single term on the left-hand side with base 2, a single term on the right side of the equal sign with base 2. Therefore, it follows that this exponent must equal this exponent. 3 times 2x minus 1 must equal 5 times x minus 3. We have a linear equation to solve here. Subtracting 5x, x minus 3 equals negative 15. Adding 3, we get x equals negative 12. And that is the solution to the equation. In part E, we recognize that 125 is a power of 5. So we will write 125 as 5 to the third power and then that is being raised to the 2x. The right hand side we have 5 raised to the 2x plus 1. Exponent raised to an exponent, those get multiplied. 3 times 2x is 6x. So we have 5 to the 2x plus 1 equals 5 to the 6x. We are in this situation. Therefore, it follows that 2x plus 1 must equal 6x. Subtracting 2x from both sides, we have 1 equals 4x. Dividing both sides by 4, we get the solution x equals 1 fourth.